On a historic day in Riyadh, the stage was set not just for headlines but for history. US President Donald Trump just secured a staggering $600 billion worth of US-Saudi investment pledge with the promise to scale it up to $1 trillion. The Saudi Crown Prince applauded, aka Johnny, as Donald Trump calls him. The World Cup is here. Johnny, just stand up, Johnny. Johnny, thank you, Johnny. And the global tech elite just showed up. And the AI era may have just found its new capital in Riyadh. So let's break it down. This isn't just another foreign visit. Because here's what Trump walked away with. A $600 billion in investment with talks to scale it to $1 trillion. A $142 billion arms deal which happens to be the largest in US history. 30 Boeing 737 MAX jets for Saudi's PIF-backed aviation leasing firm and various commercial tie-ups with Amazon, AMD, Uber and more. The message was clear. Saudi money now fuels America's biggest bets in defense, AI and next-gen infrastructure. And meet Humane, Saudi Arabia's new AI crown jewel backed by the PIF. It is chaired by the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman himself and is backed by $100 billion worth of capital and it's built to rival OpenAI, Google's DeepMind, and Elon Musk's XAI. So the first phase involves building 500 megawatts of AI data center with 18,000 NVIDIA Blackwell chips. And the goal by 2030 is to build 1.9 gigawatts of compute power. Jensen Huang, CEO of NVIDIA, called it a step that puts Saudi Arabia at the forefront of AI infrastructure globally. This isn't just about data centers, because Humane is building the entire AI tech stack. This includes an AI-native cloud plus sovereign LLMs, an Arabic-first model alum built with Sadaya, and a unified marketplace for deploying and monetizing AI agents. So from smart cities and digital twins to real-time co-pilots and military AI, Humane wants to power it all. And it's doing it with Amazon's AWS, AMD, Cisco, and Qualcomm. And one moment made even the stoic royal court stand up. Trump announced the lifting of US sanctions on Syria. Mohammed bin Salman applauded, the audience roared, and Saudi diplomacy quietly claimed its biggest geopolitical win yet. So what does this mean? This means an economic recovery for Syria, regional stability and refugee reintegration, and greater alignment with Saudi Arabia's vision of Middle East 3.0, which involves growth, governance, and partnerships. And Trump did not come alone. He brought a tech entourage like never before. You had Sam Altman from OpenAI, Elon Musk from XAI, then NVIDIA's Jensen Huang, Larry Fink from BlackRock, AMD CEO Lisa Su, Uber CEO IBM's Arvind Krishna, and many more big names. They weren't just posing for photos because they were signing deals, raising capital, and setting up shop in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And this is going beyond oil and Saudi Arabia is building the future stack because now the country is a key player in AI compute infrastructure, defense tech and aerospace, green hydrogen and rare earths, augmented reality, robotics and edge AI. Now companies are already getting Saudi checks. These names include XAI, Lucid Motors, Mid-Ocean Energy, Axiom Space, Together AI, Sci-Fi and many more such names. Now with over $500 billion in phase one, and a possible $1 trillion pipeline, this is no longer petrodollar recycling. It's capital reallocation for its own future. So in one sweep, Saudi Arabia launched the largest AI company in the region, secured deals with the biggest US tech firms, and brokered a geopolitical breakthrough in Syria and got applause from Trump all inside Riyadh. Look, this wasn't just an investment forum, it was a new world order planning session, and the message is that the future isn't coming from Silicon Valley or Washington. It might just be written in Arabic. This is Front Page by AIM. Like, share and subscribe. And always remember, think AI, think AIM.